Hi everybody. Uh, Luna and I here are going to demonstrate the egg osmosis experiment. So you're going to need your egg here and um, you're going to need a cup and uh, white vinegar to start. So let me put Luna down and uh, let's, uh, let's uh, see how this goes. All right, so let's do the egg experiment. Uh, I'm gonna start by weighing my egg in the beginning uh, so that I can see if it changes weight over time. Next, I'm going to gently put my egg into the cup. I wanna make sure I don't crack it. First time I did this, I ended up cracking my egg and it kind of messes up the experiment. So carefully put your egg into the bottom of the cup and next, I'm going to pour vinegar, acetic acid, um, into my cup. And then you're going to want to cover the egg and the cup with um, either aluminum foil or saran wrap. Um, this is the longest part of the experiment, and it takes about one and a half to two days. Uh, this is what it looks like. In in a hyperlapse recording mode so we can get to the results much quicker. Okay, so after about a day, uh, I'm gonna empty out my old vinegar by carefully pouring it down the drain. And I'm gonna replace it with fresh vinegar. And I'm gonna give it another day to sit. So then back in the vinegar for another 24 hour period. So if you look closely, you can see the bubbles, um, which reflect that the outside portion of the shell is being dissolved. After a total of two days, I'm going to drain the vinegar out carefully. I'm going to rinse off my egg and then I'm going to reweigh it. And notice that my egg is now significantly heavier at this point. It now weighs 79 grams. Now for the next part of the experiment, I'm going to carefully put the egg back in the glass and now I'm going to soak my egg in a solution of corn syrup. Um, in the past I've used both uh, light and dark corn syrup and both of them seem to work fine. In this particular case, I'm going to use the light corn syrup uh, as I think it'll be easier to see the egg uh, through the glass for this part of the experiment. The egg will sit in the corn syrup for about one day. Um, might be a good idea to put your cup on a small plate and then on the plate put a small amount of water, which should help prevent ants from showing up to your unintentional corn syrup party. You might also find it helpful to put a spoon on the top to push your egg down 
And you might also find it helpful to put saran wrap or aluminum foil back on like we did for the first part of the experiment. Once again, I'm going to drain the corn syrup uh, in the sink, and then I'm going to re-weigh my egg uh, like I've done for the previous portions of the experiment. When I re-weigh my egg, I notice that it's down to 46 grams. So it has lost weight since the last measurement. For the final step, I'm going to put my egg back in the cup and I'm going to soak it again in regular water for about one more day. By watching the egg closely, you can see that it is getting larger in size. Uh, the water solution at this point is hypotonic to the egg, and so overall, water is moving mostly into the egg, resulting in it becoming larger and probably weighing more at the end when we decide to weigh it. But right now, you can see that the egg is actually getting larger in size. After one day, I reweigh the egg and I discovered it has increased in mass and now it weighs 73 grams. Uh, I decided to pop the egg in the end to see if it had denatured the proteins in the egg, making it uh, hard like a hard boiled egg. However, when I pop the egg open, this does not appear to have happened as the egg still seems to be very much in a semi-liquid form.